and welcome to another sketch series episode. Today I'm going to be doing a quick sketch here for a contest winner. Actually not a contest, but a winner for my Instagram, my 1700th follower. So that's pretty exciting. Um, not sure how many of those are real. I'm pretty sure at least 500 are not. So I don't know how that happened, but whatever. I think I got botted at some point. But congratulations to... I believe your name was Pieces Art, if I'm not rem if I'm not mistaken, and she requested uh, she didn't request for me to send it to her. Normally, when you win a contest or something, I send you the piece. Um, you know, no 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 price, no nothing. But she just wanted me to post it up, so I'm gonna do a quick sketch and then I'll do a video. So that's kind of nice of her. It saves me some money on on uh, on shipping. Let's get into it. I already did kind of like a rough pencils. You can see here. And I'm just going to go in with a very thin, I believe this is, doesn't have any writing on it because this is old, but this is a Micron 0 0.1, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's it. It's the only pen I have left. I have to go get new ones. But we're going to go ahead and get started here. Now, I'm going to go back over this with a lighter, with a thicker brush pen later. So I just want to kind of like really sketchily. Um, just kind of get all these zones in all these zones that are like the main areas of the face so you can kind of see here I'm making it very sketchy and when I go for this kind of stuff there's always the desire to go very uh, very realistic and then there's always that counter desire that says oh you should just make it your own and don't worry about realism and I kind of ride the line between the two I like to do a little bit of realism because you want to know you want to be able to look at it and say yeah that's Sweeney Todd or um, you know or uh, what's his name Robert Downey Jr. but you also want to be able to look at it and say that's one of my drawings it's not just some super uber realistic you know one of those like traced drawings I don't I don't like that I, there's art in that, but to me, it's it's not where the fun is. And again, I'm not really worried about the line quality because this is going to be a very rough sketch, and mostly what I'm looking for is to get all the gestures in, and then I'll go back with my brush pen and really smooth it out. So you can kind of see me doing this very quickly here, and I'm not really worried about see these like really rough lines here. I'm not really worrying about that at all at this point. Okay, I took a minute there to zoom in the video a little bit. It was a little bit far away. Um, but you can kind of see me here. I'm mostly just worried about getting the stuff down that I need to get down. And um, I've kind of gotten into this habit of making sure that all my lines are perfect. Every line has to be perfect all the time. And that's, that's not fun for me. That's, that's stressful, very stressful. So I'm trying to ditch that habit by forcing myself to go very sketchy. And when I started off drawing, everything I was doing was incredibly sketchy. And a lot of people said that it looked very alive and it looked very, um, maybe not realistic, but it definitely looked like you could tell that it was my art and not just some random person's art or copy. So I kind of want to get a little bit back to that. And to do that, I'm doing as much of this really sketchy work as possible. But here I am, this is like the hairline, and he has a very distinct hairline, which is, uh, the hair is like sleeked back, and, but it's also super messy, so I have to learn to capture, it's two things I've been working on a lot, um, even though I haven't done a lot of videos, is capturing female positions, so, you know, the female body and all the lines and beauty of the female body um, in proportion and in you know, and balance, make sure everything is balanced. And also hair, and I realize that with hair, I work best when I work loose. 
And because I'm going to go over this with a brush pen, I'm not even worried about the hair right now. I just want to gesture in the, the ear and make sure that I got this and set one of those up, one of these. And more or less, this kind of completes a rough sketch. Now, if this were just for me in a sketchbook, I would leave it like this and say, this is a, a decent sketch of Sweeney Todd. And, you know, I can maybe add color to it or something. And I might, actually, because I have some markers here that I could use. Um, so what I might do is a black and white with a red background. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Um, because this pen is very thin, it dries up really quickly. So I'm just going to go straight in with my eraser and erase it, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're back here, and you can see it doesn't look all that amazing, but it captures the essence of Sweeney Todd. We got the, the crazy hair, which once I get the brush pen going, and I'm using a Le Pen brush pen, and we're going to get started. Now all I'm going to do is clean up the lines first of all, and then I'm going to go back and thicken an outline, uh, but adding to the hair as well. So I'm going to clean up these lines, and brush pens are very sensitive. If I you go over here, you can see that a brush pen, like the thicker you press, the thicker the line. So you can get a lot of very cool action, you know, lines that way, lines that have a lot of life to them and a lot of depth to what they're trying to convey. Now, because I went first with a very sketchy pen, I could have gone directly with a brush pen, but my skills with the brush pen still aren't everything that I would like them to be. Now, as always, when using a brush pen, it comes down to how much you've practiced your touch. Very sensitive movements, very sensitive touch is what you need to kind of get a good flow of the brush pen. And when I say I'm not very confident, that's because I keep retreating on my touch. And that means that the brush pen ends up being very inconsistent. A lot of the lines that should end up straight end up with a little thin parts in the middle for no reason other than the fact that I continually second guess the line that I'm making. This is why using kind of like a sketchy style is, to my belief, a little bit better for stuff like this. Because you can get lines that are one time, quick, and you always get the good consistency you want instead of trying to make that one long perfect line. And whenever I do this with the brush pen, I go very thick around the parts of the drawing that I know have cast shadows and have things on them. For example, this is the color of the overcoat, the border of when the overcoat hits the shirt. So there will be some cast shadow there. And because of that, I have to take things very thick. And then here, go very thin. Thick. Thick. And then if I want to here emphasize, very thin, very thin strokes, very thin. Okay, something like that. And there we go. Now we can work on the hair. Now, now Sweeney Todd has black hair, but he has like a band of white. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do some... Uh, contrast. Essentially what I'm going to be doing is filling in mostly black and then going back and adding some contrast for the white so that people can see the difference between the black part of the hair and the white part of the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because it's going to basically consist of filling most of this out. And then we'll come back and we'll have it done. Okay, so at this point we have something that looks similarly finished. Now all I did was I used my brush pen, which is this pen again, and I went in and I filled in these areas with solid black because I know the hair is solid black. But the part that has the white streak, the white highlight, I just kind of left it. And all I did was use the fact that my brush as I pull off the page thins out and I thinned it out right here, all these parts, so that accents the idea of brush strokes and the idea of pieces, strands of hair, and even here kind of like this glossy feel, but it also accents the color as well. Now to give this some contrast, I'm going to go ahead and use a red sharpie to fill in the background here. And this shouldn't take very long and then we'll have a finished product. 
All right, well here we have the finished product. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and colored it with a Sharpie as the red background, and I used a gray Sharpie, I have a silver one, to kind of give some highlights to the black parts of the hair contrasting the white, and also the white part of the hair contrasting against the curves of the brush strokes. Then I went in with some light colored pencils, uh, three colors, brown, a peach color, and a green color, and filled out everything else. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. If you want, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram or check out my Etsy store to see if there's any art you'd like to purchase. You can also check out last week's video by simply clicking on the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Take care.